How's it going guys? This is Jeff with iDownload Blog. Let's talk about Transloader. This is an awesome Mac app available on the Mac App Store. It also has an iOS app counterpart and the two work together via iCloud to allow you to sync downloads remotely and download files onto your Mac while you're away, while you're away from your computer. So all you do is you install the Transloader app from the Mac App Store, it's $2.99, and it runs this little application here. This little client just waits and it listens over iCloud to see if any downloads come across the wire. So what you do here, you just let this run. It doesn't have a lot of options, unfortunately, it's very bare bones, but you just let that little client run on your Mac you install the Transloader app on your iOS device, which is actually free, and then you can push downloads to your Mac via iOS remotely. So literally, I just send those over to my Mac uh, via iCloud. I'm gonna show you right now, I'm gonna actually open up iDownload Blog. This is our download page. It has all the firmware for various uh, iOS devices. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually send the iPad mini firmware over to my Mac via iCloud using Transloaders. I'm gonna show you how this works. I'm just gonna copy and paste, oops, wrong, wrong link there. Copy the URL for the firmware. So it's copied onto my pasteboard. Now I just go over to Transloader, hit the little plus sign in the upper right hand corner, paste that URL in there, and then once you've verified that the URL is correct, just tap done, and then it goes ahead and syncs via iCloud, sends it over to my Mac, which is waiting with that client running just waiting there here. So you can see it's waiting. It takes a few seconds or about a minute or so for it to receive the download in my experience, but eventually you'll get the download and it'll start downloading. So what this basically does is just, it, it listens over iCloud, it says, hey, there's a URL waiting, and it goes out and downloads the, the file directly on the Mac itself. So no file is actually downloaded on the iOS device, it just pushes the URL to your Mac. Very, very handy piece of software, folks. But if I had one complaint about Transloader, it would be how incredibly bare bones it is. There are literally no options to configure and it always has to be running on your Mac. You can't even put it in the menu bar. So that's kind of disappointing. But for $2.99, this will save you a lot of time if you're downloading huge files and you don't wanna wait until you get on to actually start that download. This is a great tool to be able to do just that. Let me know what you guys think about Transloader in the comment section below. This is Jeff with iDownloadBlog.